the first thing that we need to do is actually push our project up to GitHub or whatever version control you're using. If you know how to do this, all of all of this video is just covering how to push it up. So feel free to skip it if you already have an existing project on GitHub. Uh, you can go ahead and move on to the next video. So we have our project locally. I'm currently in the terminal within this directory with everything that I actually want to push up. And I don't have a repository created at the moment. So we're going to do that first, initialize Git on the command line and push everything up. So let's create a new repository on GitHub. And we'll go ahead and call this Inst Academy. Obviously, you can call yours whatever you want. And I'm going to set this to private. This doesn't have to be a public repository because uh, when we authenticate with Envoya, we have access or Envoya has access to all of our private repositories. So we can uh, choose what we want to link in. So we're going to hit create repository, wait for that to finish, and we're done. So over on the command line then, what we want to do is initialize a Git repository. And I'm going to type Git in it to do that. I already had one existing, but obviously this might show something different for you. So now that we've done that, then we need to add all of our untracked files. So we're just going to say git add and then a dot that's added everything. And we can run git status to just see the status of everything that we can commit here. So now we're going to git commit and we're going to give a message. So I'm just going to say first commit like that. That's everything committed there. And uh, we need to add the remote repository now. So we can just copy this line over on GitHub and we can go ahead and push that up. So we just paste that in like that. Now we can go and actually push it up to GitHub. This is obviously still empty at the moment because we've not pushed anything up. So we're just going to say git push origin master. And that'll ask for my username and password. If we just run this again. So we just enter them details in there. You might already be authenticated with git on the command line. And that's gone ahead and pushed them up now. So if we go ahead and refresh on GitHub, you can see once this is finished, that all of the files are in there and we can use these later on to uh, grab with Envoy and then we're going to push them over to our Laravel Forge server, which is obviously a digital ocean droplet. So once you're at this stage, if you already had a Git repository um, up and ready to deploy, then you're pretty much ready to move on to the next step uh, where we're going to talk a little bit more about DigitalOcean and why we need a DigitalOcean account.